Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata. Today is still the 17th of April and I have some news for you today regarding The Last of Us. A couple of pieces of news in fact, as we have some news regarding some DLC, which will be the Grounded Bundle DLC, which will be adding a new single player difficulty mode as well as four new multiplayer maps. Now Naughty Dog has detailed the contents of the third and final Last of Us Season Pass uh, release on their official blog. Of course I'm going to go through all the details with you in this video but if you want to give their blog post a read it, the link will be in the description below this video. Now grounded mode will make the single camp single player campaign rather even more difficult than survivor mode and the Naughty Dog said quotes the AI is relentless smart and brutal and survival will be near impossible and according to Naughty Dog grounded mode will cost $4.99 outside of the season pass. Now, the bundle will also include the reclaimed territories map pack, which will have, as I said previously, four new multiplayer areas. And that'll be the wharf from near the beginning of the game, the capital in Boston, a coal mine in Colorado, and Lincoln PA map water tower. The map pack will be available for $9.99 for people who do not own the season pass. As well as this, we have four new weapons, the Spectre Silence Assault Rifle, Double Barrel Shotgun, Enforcer Pistol, and Explosive Launcher. And they'll be available for free as part of preset loadouts or as part of a $5.99 bundle, which goes by the name of the Survivalist Weapon Bundle, and that's of course outside the new season pass. And several new survivor skills, rather, are also on offer for $3.99 each. Now, all players will be receiving the full auto rifle for free. Now, unfortunately, Naughty Dog didn't deign to tell us when the DLC updates will be coming out or what they will be costing outside of the US. So, for example, there's no UK or European prices just yet, but... They did say that The Last of Us Season Pass will only be available up to the week of May the 13th. So, of course, given that these uh, packs and updates are going to be included in the Season Pass, we can obviously expect it to come out before then. But that doesn't really narrow the window down any, as I'm sure you will agree. Now, the last piece of news is a rather small one, as Naughty Dog are basically said that they're looking into um, giving PS3 owners of The Last of Us a discount for The Last of Us Remastered, which will be coming out for the PS4 this summer. Now, when they were asked specifically if owners of the original The Last of Us for the PS3, as well as the Season Pass, will get a next-gen upgrade discount, the community strategist Eric Monacelelli said, quote, We're looking into the business model for all of this, and we'll post about this once we have input from all regions. Now, given that a lot of uh, current and next-gen titles, such as, of course, Battlefield 4, Assassin's Creed 4, and so on, did do the whole uh, upgrade mecha uh, mechanic or offer or whatever word you want to use, I would expect Naughty Dog to follow suit, as it makes sense to basically give those people who supported the original re release a little bit of reward if they wish to upgrade to the shinier version. So I would expect that they will be doing this. Because, of course, you know, they want to shift as many, uh, much sales as possible, as well as keeping, of course, all the goodwill that they've generated with this awesome title. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.